Happy Monday morning. I just want to make a quick short video about my little sister, Philly Phil. If you not on oh, oh, you might want to drop on the train, baby. It's moving and it's grooving. Cooking with Philly Phil. Do your thing, little sister. Do your thing. What's up, Philly Phil Gang? How y'all doing? Everybody, how are y'all doing? It's with Philly Phil Gang. EWTPG. So we're trying a new pound cake recipe. I'm getting some crushed pineapples in juice and then crushed pineapples in heavy syrup. I'm gonna use some of that when I make the um, icing, okay? What type of butter I use? Land O'Lakes um, butter, Land O'Lakes salted butter. No, I'm sorry, Land O'Lakes unsalted. Then I add a little salt. But they're $3.98. They're two for five at Kroger's right now. So get your butter at Kroger's if you can. This type of confectionate sugar for my icing, okay? All right, guys. So we are making a homemade pineapple pound cake, okay? So we are going to start with a half a cup of Crisco um, shortening. Okay, Just get that in there. Get it all in there. Okay, get it all in there, get it in there. going to go with two sticks of Land O'Lakes butter. You guys saw me purchasing it. Room temperature. And it's really room temperature. But that's a good thing. Just get it all off the paper. Get it in there. Let's go with the other one. Let's get you a little butter knife or something and scrape it all off of there. Put it in your mixer. It'll all get mixed up together. Okay. Now what we're going to do is let this mix nice and slow. I have two cups of granulated white sugar here. I have a cup of room temperature buttermilk, two tablespoons of um, vanilla, pure vanilla extract. We're gonna use six eggs, and then I have three cups of flour that's been sifted with a teaspoon of baking powder in it, okay? And one cup or eight ounces of crushed pineapples. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna make this from start to finish. It's my first time making one. So we're gonna see how it comes out. One of my um, co-workers, his son wanted one, so He's going to get to be the one to test it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add the two cups of sugar. Let that mix up. And next we'll add the eggs one at a time, okay? doing I'm cracking them in a little bowl and adding them one at a time and you just let it mix until you can no longer see the yellow uh, yolk so this is egg number three right here
egg number four. And I have the oven preheated to 325. Number five. Egg number six. Now what we're gonna do is get one more egg out the refrigerator and separate the white from the yolk. A baker on Instagram told me this trick. I always use a cold egg. It helps to separate it better. And then put that yolk in there. So thanks to Big A for giving me that tip. Now, we're going to stop that. And this is why I had the gloves on. Clean that off. Get all of the little excess from around there. Wash your hands. Okay. And I already have my cake pan nice and buttered. So this is what I do next. I take this off of here for now. get my flour and I put it into the mixer and I just mix I alternate between the three cups of flour and the cup of buttermilk okay that's the way I do it now you can leave it on the mixer and Add it in that the other way if you want, but I choose to do it this way and I just alternate. And the flour will be the last thing that you put in. So then I mix it some more. Now I'm going to add some more buttermilk. And this works for me. I had to position it this way so you all can see because I didn't have an extension cord long enough. Okay, add some more flour. Okay. Mix that up. Now we're going to add the remainder of the cup of buttermilk. Okay, mix it, now add the remainder of the flour, get it all in there, we want our cake to be nice and fluffy, alright, now we're going to just mix this up a little bit more, scrape the bottom, Going to do is get all of that excess off of this spoon. That's why you got your good glove on. Nice new clean glove, okay? I have boxes of gloves. Just get you some boxes. You're gonna need them. If you cook a lot, you're gonna need some gloves. Now you wash your hands, wash your glove off again. bring this back over here put our vanilla in there put it back on here get it nice and secure lift it up and let it mix for a few 
seconds, okay? Not long, because it's already been mixed. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to fold the pineapples in and then pour it in the cake plate. Let me reposition the can. Okay guys, so now we're going to fold our one cup of crushed pineapples into our cake mixture. So you don't mix this in there, you fold it in there, okay? One cup of crushed pineapples. Get all your pineapples. This is a pineapple pound cake, all right? This is what I used. Dole crushed pineapples, all right? And I used Watkins from Walmart uh, vanilla. Okay. Now let's just fold this in here. Well, if you love pineapples, you're gonna love this. I like these pineapples cold with salt. I just can't get with the pineapple cake. But hey, if you can bake and cook, you should be able to cook whatever someone wants to eat, right? Okay. Now that we have that folded in there, what we're going to do now is pour it into our butter cake pan that I purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond, all right? Again, the oven has been preheated to 325. Gonna let this cake bake for one hour. Don't open the oven, don't touch it. For one hour, all right? Get it all in there. Okay, try not to get it on the mold of the cake. That messes it up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now what you want to do, take it. And get your knife. Go around it like that, okay? All right. Gonna put this in the oven and let it bake for one hour. We're gonna go ahead and make our um, pineapple vanilla drizzle to go over it. Okay, well, pineapple drizzle. No vanilla in the uh, uh, icing. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Let's put together our pineapple glaze icing for our pineapple pancake. Okay, this is two and a half cups of powdered sugar with two tablespoons of the same type of butter that I use in the cake. Now what we're going to do, this is some of the drained juice from the cake. I'm going to start off with a couple of tablespoons. We'll see how it goes. So that's, that's three. Let's see how that goes for now. Just start mixing it up on low, okay? A nice pineapple glaze for your pineapple pound cake. all this powdered sugar to get all over me. Now the 
cake, it smells good. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. And it's still a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I wanna be able to pour it, but like I said, you don't want it just running everywhere.
And we're gonna put this on there where it's nice and warm. Those pineapples, oh my goodness, honey. My coworker son gonna love this. Oh yes, he is. He gonna say, what's that lady name again, daddy? <laughs> Billy Bill. Oh y'all, I smell nothing but pineapples. And I see pineapples. Y'all know how I like to have it. Pineapples everywhere. Oh yeah. It's a beauty. Okay. There it is, there it is, there it is. The pineapples is all inside of it, the icing down in the middle. In fact, what I'm going to do is take some of this leftover pineapple and put it in the middle. It's a pineapple pound cake. There you go. Wanted pineapple? You got pineapple. Look at that. All right, let's eat us some leftover steak and gravy. I cooked some rice and I opened up a can of um, ranch style beans and I souped them up and made them some uptown ranch style beans. Let's eat. Okay, EWPPG, Whew. it's Monday. We baked a cake, oh my goodness. Big Mike updated his Monday night intro. Okay, they coming hard from Chicago, aren't they? Hmm, the only two now, I got, I need Big Lou and Big Rob. I need them to send their intros. Big Lou and Big Rob, they better come on with it. Okay, <laughs> let's bless the food. Bless this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies, amen. Okay, what y'all think about that pineapple pound cake? It looks pretty good. It looks real good. I just don't eat pineapple cakes, y'all. But they're going to let me know if it's good or not, okay? <sighs> all right. After all that bacon, I had to have me a Monday night. Hey, all I need is some football. Mm-hmm. Woo-wee. So we got some leftover steak and uh, ranch-style beans that I season up. I put green, onion, yellow, bell peppers, uh, garlic, season them up good, cook me some rice, and got some gravy over the rice. Gramps, this was a meal of honey. This is his dream meal right here. And my brother Mario here, real dog. Yes, Wang, honey, he loves some beans and rice and gravy. And so do I. All right, here we go. Let's see what they tasting like. So how y'all doing? What y'all think of the tutorial tonight? Mm. Oh, this is what I use to check my cakes. These bamboo things, I just stick it down there. Comes out dry, cake is done. Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> yes, that cake, it flipped on out of there. It was, it came out perfect. It really did. It didn't stick, it was really perfect. You guys saw it in real time. Mm, mm, mm. And then I put the pineapples in the middle of it. Hey, it's a pineapple cake. Whatever you do, make it your own. You can take, you can take my recipe and just, you know, switch it up, make it your own. Mm-hmm. Do you guys eat, uh, eat pineapple cakes and are you going to try that recipe? It's in the description. Let me know. Mm. Mm-hmm. I was hungry too, boy. Leftovers are good. You know, once the meat sits up and absorbs all those flavors, baby. Mm-hmm. Gramps always said, gumbo was always better the next day because all those seasonings set in overnight. I haven't made a gumbo in a while. You guys want me to make a gumbo? You know, you normally make them when it's cooler, but I can eat a gumbo anytime. I sure can. Y'all eat gumbo? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This steak is good. 
that dark brown gravy. And you guys saw how I made that gravy. I didn't use flour and water and all that. I didn't use no packet. I did it the way Clyde Mouton taught me. And I sure did. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is good. Yes, indeed. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Look at those um, sautéed bell peppers and onion and garlic. Mmm. So, we won't be cutting the cake and enjoying it for dessert. And that cake, I won't be uh, shipping anywhere. I'll make it for someone local. I will do that, but I'm not going to ship it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all, I'm hungry. Can't you tell? And guys, your girl worked out this morning. I don't know why I put that green shirt on. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Delicious. You know what? Rice and gravy and beans. Whenever Gramps saw somebody who was skinny, he'd say, "Eat these some damn beans and rice." <laughs> mm. I don't want to eat too much of these beans and rice, honey. We're trying to work it out now, but we're not on no diet, y'all. We eat what we want to eat. Okay, don't worry about it. Just eat what you want to eat. We'll worry about it later. Mmm. Red style beans, I don't know. I mean, they don't taste like pinto beans. They look like pinto beans, but they're good. Mm-hmm. If you don't ever want to cook some beans on a Sunday or whatever, get you a big old thing of red style beans. I put onion powder, garlic powder, steak seasoning, and I cut up onions and bell peppers and garlic and all that, and I just let it simmer. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. Boy, I ate this fast, didn't I? <laughs> hey, I told y'all I was hungry. Mm-hmm. I had to put some, I had to think about that pineapple cake. I had to concentrate, you know, it's my first time making one. So I had to really, whoo, them other cakes. Hey, I can do them with my eyes closed now. <laughs> mm. And the only thing, guys, I didn't use the normal cake flour that I use. I normally use softer silk. I get it at Walmart. When I tell y'all they have been out, it's over a month and a half. I went to the Pillsbury website. You can't even order it. Amazon. You can't order it. I don't know what's going on. Why they stop making my softer silk? <laughs> That's some. Those cakes be silky, just like it says. Mm -mm. I didn't get a really big piece of steak. You know, I wasn't. I didn't want to eat too much, but I ate all that I brought to the table, honey. Mmm. That was good. I need another piece of steak to finish that off. Okay. Let's read some comments real quick, honey, because your girl got to get up in the morning so we can hit it. You know what tomorrow is? Taco Tuesday. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's see what you all had to say about last night's meal. Okay. B Sugar 100. Hey, Philly Phil, how you doing? Your grandbabies know they are beautiful. Beautiful. Wanted to be the first to come in. Uh, now, I'll, now I'll watch the rest of the video. Okay, thank you. Rose for you. Hey, Philly Phil, your dinner looks delicious and the drink looks refreshing. Yes, that fago was good. A perfect Sunday meal. Be blessed. She Radiance. Hey, Phil, your granddaughter is so cute. Look at that steak. Everything looks mighty tasty. Yum. Yummy. I want a plate. Phil, 
you asked me when was my birthday. It's August 17th. That's my sister's birthday. You a Leo girl? She said, I'm preparing for my birthday seafood ball with that smack delicious Philly Field sauce. Yes, hunty, yes. Keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. Hmm. You ain't gotta tell me twice. I work it off in the morning. Have a great weekend. Have a great week, EWPPG. August the 17th, that's my sister that I give all the leftover food to. It's her birthday. Wow. Debbie Henderson, girl, Miss Zizi is upstaging her granny. Such a cutie. I'm drooling right now watching you eat that steak and those greens. We miss you, sweetie. I know. Can I come see y'all? <laughs> I'm going to have on my mask. B Sugar 100, that food looks good. I made a seafood ball for dinner. Lobster, steamed fish, boiled eggs, half a potato, corn on the cob, and shrimp. I also had homemade cookies and and cream and ice cream for dessert. Have a blessed one, sis. Girl, you ain't good. Go on, B Sugar 100. Tiana Pointer, happy blessed Sunday. Enjoy your delicious meal with that orange pop. Be blessed, stay safe, okay? Julia Martin. And I mailed your sauce today. Hey, Philadelphia, that steak is the star of the show. It looks so tender. Your whole plate looks delicious. I will see you in the morning for the Philly Field workout. Keep on cooking and sipping in the kitchen, okay? Whatever y'all said, I got to sip. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere but to bed. Um, pumpkin pie. Uh, you and Walkers did it again. That steak looked delicious and tender. Glad you enjoyed it. God bless you and your family. Vicki Hughes, first here, 10.15 p.m. Hey, EWPPG, your granddaughter is such an adorable, beautiful princess. Steak looks yummy. I had salmon, Caesar rice, cornbread, and butter beans. I love pinto beans. I love butter beans. My grandfather loved those big butter beans. And he could cook them with a thick gravy. I can't cook them like him. Cynthia, this, the steak looks so tender. Good idea to buy the size from a good soul food place. You save time cooking and supporting the business. That's right, honey. You sure are right. I might have to start doing that a little more often. Uh, Taurus Glasker. Hey now, Philly Phil. Mackenzie Mama sent me. Hey, Mackenzie Mama. Thank y'all. Mailed your sauce off today, too. She said, yes, that looks good. I bought those steaks yesterday. Didn't know what I was going to do with them, but now I do. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, honey. Put a little seasoning on them. Brown them real good. Now sear them real good. And then take it out that skillet. Add to some hot water to that. And then put all those onion, bell pepper, garlic, and everything in there. Season it up a little bit more and throw it in the oven. They're going to be so tender and delicious, you won't know what hit you. <clears throat> SMB 770. Hey, my favorite Southern cooking lady. I don't know why I didn't get, get your notification, but when I went looking for you and found you, the meal will make you hungry. Keep on cooking in the kitchen, Philly Phil. Ring that bell. Make sure you ring that bell, okay? Eva, let Miss Eva, hey. Hey, Philly Phil, there's nothing like some good green, uh, beans and greens. That's how I prepare steak, so I know yours tastes delicious too. Fish fried today, okay, and it was good. Keep on cooking in the kitchen and continue to be blessed. Thank you. Jerrica Miller, hey, Philly Phil, your granddaughter is so adorable. Okay, ZZ, you hear that? Girl, you adorable. Sandra Butts, everything looks delicious, Philly Phil. Thank you. Celestine Moore, hello, what a wonderful Sunday dinner. Thank you. Penny Proud, Philly Phil, happy and blessed Sunday. That food looks so good. I am going to cook tomorrow for real. Did you cook? How did it come out? Extina Grubbs, yummy. I need some of that goodness in my life. Yum. Okay. Jehu Deer Jubilee, cooking in the kitchen with Granny. Food looks good. <laughs> Smitty Smith for gorgeous kids. Hello, EWPPG. Uh, who is this? Constanetta Collins. Hello, Philly. Looks good. Yes, Fago Pop, right here in Detroit, Michigan, where I live. Motown, Motor City. Gotta take a sip for Motown. Mm -hmm. Some good singing coming out of Motown. Marty B. Oh, grandbaby working them sunglasses. Sunday dinner looks slapping. Girl, what is she wearing those red glasses? <laughs> Tasha Hawkins. Hey, Philly Phil, that plate looks delicious. I just love your channel. Keep cooking in the kitchen. I'm going to keep cooking. You keep coming to the kitchen. Elton Holmes. Yes, Walker. Hey, Elton. How you doing? Miss Fatback say thumbs up. Okay, what y'all said, y'all? 
That workout this morning, honey. I had that green shirt on. I couldn't put a backdrop. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, we'll know. We'll know in the morning. Louise Kearney, good morning, afternoon. Praying for a good, productive week. Everyone stay safe and blessed. Okay. B Sugar 100, good morning. How are you? Good job, sis. I'm feeling great this morning. I got my 30 minutes in already. Yes, we'll keep encouraging each other to get it in after each after every workout. I take a pick of my time and mouth. It really makes me feel good. Okay. Good. Come on, EWPPG. Let's move. I'm 56. Let's get them girlish figures back. <laughs> Have a blessed day, everyone. I know that's right. Walk that body. <laughs> Mama's mad ideas. Good morning. Just finished walking four miles. Dedication, motivation, determination. You better say that. Okay, Penny Proud. Hey, Philly Field. Looking good. Work it out. Have a blessed Monday. Beautiful blessed Monday. Cynthia, good morning. I see you getting it in. I got an appointment this morning, but definitely walking afterwards. Okay. Tiana Pointer, good morning. Bless God bless you. Work it out. I worked it out. Marty B. Okay, Philly Phil, let's get it in. Debbie Henderson, go fill us, go fill us, go fill us. <laughs> Louise Kearney, you're doing great. Thank you. Celeste Moore, good morning. Got my walk in at 7 a.m. You are doing great. Thank you. She Radius, doing a good job, Phil. Julia Morton, good morning, Philly Phil. Good workout. No pain, no gain. Be a cook in the kitchen. Work out with Philly Phil. What is that machine called? I know you said you got it at Walmart. Stay blessed. It's a Sunny Fitness Elliptical. Sunny Fitness Elliptical. Smitty Smith for Hello EWPPG, and I love it. Clifford Jackson, good morning to you. Hey, Clifford, thank you for stopping by. How you doing? Deborah Tuma, good morning, EWPPG. I am here to work it out. Well, honey, work it. As my grandmother would say, shake, shake it. <laughs> oh, she don't say it exactly like that. I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, comedian Mike Allen, uh, you did that. Yes, we did. We did. We did. Okay, is this anyone's first time stopping by the channel or the uh, workout zone? Well, honey, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I drop a comment so I can read it on the next show. Okay. Now, hit that subscribe button. Press that red subscribe subscribe button one more time. Ring that bell so you will be notified whenever I drop a video. Okay, trivia. What are the two brothers' names that I said I'm still waiting on them to send me an intro? I'm waiting. What's their names? Be the first one to email me at eatwithphillyphil at yahoo.com. Win yourself a nice wine glass, okay? All right, guys, you never know where your girl's gonna be. What I'll be cooking, what I'll be sipping, what I'll be baking, what type of new pound cake I'll throw at you guys. You just never know about your girl, Philly Phil, honey. But one thing you do know, and you sure enough better run tell everybody. Tell them I said they always welcome in Philly Phil's kitchen, okay? I keep cooking and sipping in that kitchen. See y'all later.